Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 11 of the reason why Rayliana ended up at the Duke's Mansion. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Once again, I feel like it's Beatrice, but it could be somebody else. No? I mean, it's nice to watch you. What are you saying? What are you going to do? Horseback riding? <laughs> So, what are we doing? Shopping? Ring shopping? Makes sense. Because, you know, she does not have a ring on her finger, technically, even though you're married. But... Beautiful. <laughs> 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 Oh. 
Oh, 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 oh. Pretty. What in the end? Wait. No. But uh, uh, we ain't gonna stop him. I mean, you know, but she got everything she want. Oh. Can I please have a man like him? Please, even though, yes, I'd love to be independent and buy my own things, but still. He just, even though it's a facade, but he really does like her. He gives her everything. Everything. And get home safely. Hmm? Why? Like a haunted ghost? Time for me to go. Now, no nights. Watching her up in this time of night. Mm -mm. Oh, it's just a doll. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I think so too. Oh, that could be the mirror. Hmm. Huh? 
Oh. You just put the mirror down, turn around, pretend nothing happened. Oh. The person! Right? Good. Yes, stay home. Please. Oh. I'm dying. <laughs> It had to be you, right? No, it's you. Yeah, but I I'm okay now. <laughs> Don't be so harsh. <laughs> Just like you two, kind of. <laughs> you are right about that.
She can't sleep though. Oh. Hmm. No. Sorry, you're already going crazy. Both of y'all are going crazy. Like, seriously, one of y'all need to say. I love you. That's all you gotta do. I know it's hard. I know it's tempting. But we have one episode left before this show is over. <laughs> this is pretty as the sun, god damn. Sure you did. Oh, never mind, I thought that was Oh, okay. <laughs> Right? <laughs> oh, that's such a bull. Yeah, he was about to come in before everything had happened. Oh. 
Well, damn. <laughs> oh, really, Anna? What's up? Beatrice? Oh, come on, man. Not with the end credits. You can't do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. We got to see if she's going to be there. Ain't answering that until next week, huh? Of course. And you gonna end it like that. Oh my god, no. Okay, all right. So one thing I am going to say, I was right that my favorite saying is Beatrice. Now, my biggest thing is we only have one episode left to really wrap a lot of the majority of the things up. And of course, I feel like next week we're going to get an essential open ending with this show where it has a potential to get a season two but the biggest thing is we don't really know if it will get a season two i think probably by next week we will definitely get a definitive answer or it might be like a little while later on because i mean i think when like i'm trying to think of majority of the shows that got seasons season twos with the end like but kuma bear from what i remembered i think a week or two weeks later after it ended, it was announced. Oh, excuse me. Whew. But, okay. So, Noah's brother. And it's funny because, yeah, once again, you gotta have him in this, too. You never, you always kind of know who is all in this show. But at the same time, you don't. And I love that for one. I mean, it's truly one of the best things because it's always like, oh, hey, guess the say you like mo multiple times on like whatever you're watching. Yeah, we only got one episode left um, and such. But I am hoping that next week she is able to finally see Beatrice and that these two can have a conversation. But it also makes me wonder how is this going to go? Um, and especially if, Beatrice is the one who is trying to kill her. It would make the most sense. But I don't think they're initially going to like say, oh, yes, she's the one who's been trying to kill her because insert reason here and such. But I think if they wanted to, they could give us like maybe a hint that she could be, but she's not, we, we don't know. It's like a maybe or something. Um, but it does make me wonder. If by next week, I'm probably going to have to read the series now. I don't know. Because, see, like, I, I don't want to go into next week and then be like, okay, we're not getting... If, I, okay, I will only do it like this. I will only do it if we... If there is no hint of a season two. 
if this show does not get a season two in the next couple of weeks, or if it's confirmed for a season two, um, I'll read it. But if it is, I won't read it. It's best for me not to know because I do want to know, truly. Um, and seeing how this series ends. I mean, because I do follow some people who were reading this at the time and then uh, to the point where the, show, the series concluded and they were posting some things about it, like more towards like the ending series and such. But um, it's been so long ago. It's been like two or three months ago that I barely really remember anything. So I'm like, okay, I'm good. But at the same time, yes, a curious mind would like to know how this series ends and if it possibly continues on into like another like spinoff role starring these two. But there is multiple ways that they could end the show. So yeah, I mean, I would like to see a season two, please and thank you. Um, I love the fact that, you know, in her time of being vulnerable and scared, he does come for her. And just being there in her rescue and such takes her back to her room and he stays there. Like at first she's like, no, 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 I'm okay, I'm fine. Like, no ghost ain't gonna scare me. And then he's like, no, like if you cry and stuff. So let me just stay in the room. Like at first I love the fact that he was being a gentleman saying, you take the bed, I'll take the chair. And, you know, she's over here like, well, you know what, that's a little messed up because, yeah, if you think about it, I'm going to be comfortable and you're not. So why don't you take the bed? I'll just take a risk with the chair. And he is over here like, nope. <laughs> nope. Screw it. Let's just both sleep on the bed. And that'll be fine. Also, like, the fact is, once again, this man bought her the whole damn jewelry store. He bought everything. In the jewelry store. Like I said, I, I mean, I want, I'm, I'm not independent bad bitch, but at the same time, I would love to be one and dine by man. Like, seriously. But, you know, when you get the situations of, and I'm going to say this for, you know, even guys probably get this too, where someone wine and dines you, and of course, you're ex they're expecting, oh, hey, since I did this for you, you got to give up the goods. That's the biggest thing she probably got to worry about right now and such. But, I mean, mm, for that, I am actually going to keep my mouth shut. It, I'll say it's up to you on what you interpretate. If you want to give up the goods, you can. If you don't, you don't. That is okay. You do whatever you want to do. You don't always have to give up the goods. You could say no. But me... I am definitely, I would definitely say no. And now, now, if it was one of, like, the anime characters I was in love with, that's a completely different conversation that we'll have another day, I'm just saying. But, yeah! <laughs> Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 11 of The Reason Why Really on Ended Up with the Duke Expansion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Monday for... Oh, excuse, me. Oh, excuse me. The final episode. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.